Hello out of placers. Merry Halloween. Thank you for listening to our third Halloween special. Wow. Three years of doing these specials. Every year I get excited to produce a big special with a long audio drama for y'all. In 2020, that was my first attempt at doing a long one and boy, it was corny as hell. The singing in the elevator thing was so cringy for me. Cringy when I sang, not what Rachel and Alexandria sang, which they did beautifully, by the way. Then in 2021, I kind of overdid it. I produced two audio dramas, one bringing a Batman graphic novel to life, and the other one took place in the Five Nights of Freddy's world. And here we are in 2022. I'm so excited for you guys to listen to this episode. If you didn't listen to the last episode, let me fill you in on what I have planned for you this Halloween. For the 2022 Halloween special, I am producing an audio drama reenacting the 1938 broadcast of the War of the Worlds radio play. This is one of a few audio dramas that really got me loving radio plays from back in the days. They are what inspired me to do all of these skits and specials you hear on this podcast. I've listened to so many old school radio plays since I was a kid because I love it. Before phones and before TV, people would gather around the radio just to listen to these awesome radio plays that told amazing stories. Today's technology enables me to do this at the comfort at my own home instead of a studio like they had to do back then. I love it. I always go way above and beyond than I have to. In fact, every episode I write, produce, and manage, I do it as if I I was getting paid hundreds of dollars an hour to do so and i don't actually all of us here at out of place don't get paid anything everything you hear are people that either want to practice so that they can get ready to work for big studios and gaming and movies or even tv shows Some are just treating it like an awesome hobby like I do. What makes me a good producer is all the wonderful people I get the honor to work with. I thank God all the time for putting everyone I've met through this podcast in my path. I produce the Out of Place podcast for fun while at the same time learning to be a producer for future stuff that I will go more into in January. I got a big announcement to share with you all at the top of next year. You're going to have to wait. I love producing these episodes and all the audio dramas for you fantastical listeners. All you have to do is bring your imagination and the sound effects, music, and the voiceover artists I provide you with will help you enhance that imagination. Anyways, what I love about the War of the Worlds radio play is that it created some chaos as some people thought it was really happening. We still have that problem today. You know those type of people. The one that treat opinions as facts and give nothing but hate and judgment just by reading headlines. Yeah, they, those people, caused unnecessary chaos back then. I knew that whole story behind it before I listened to the radio play in high school. So when I actually listened to it, I pretended that I was one of those people who thought it was real. I treated the radio play like if it was really happening. And I enjoyed the hell out of it, going into it like that. After that, I've been wanting for so long to recreate the War of the Worlds. And finally, I can make that happen with the help of my fantastic host. And of course, with the help of these amazing voiceover artists I constantly meet over at castingcall.club. In the description, I'm going to leave the 1938 broadcast so that you can listen to it after this or at a later time. With that said... Rachel Reagan will be co-hosting this evening. As some of you loyal listeners know, she used to be a host on this podcast. Until Stephen fired me. No, I didn't fire you. You know I'm just kidding. I know. But yeah, she used to do the sex talk segment. Rachel covered super fun topics. And naughty. <laughs> Hopefully your listeners didn't become a bunch of prudes because I'm not there to help them. You know what I should do? Give me my very own show fun with rachel or the rachel reagan show hey you joke but i would love for you to have something like that on here but i should make a compilation of all the sex talk segments you did and post it on youtube or something so people could just listen to all of your bedroom tips perfect i think your sexy listeners would love that and i'm thinking of doing the same for uh big Vinny and lenny so how are you excited for that Vinny and lenny christmas special me too in fact listeners rachel will be playing herself As well as Lenny's mom. I had fun playing Lenny's mom. Oh, and that part where I got to kick Lenny's wife's ass. (laughs) Speaking of Lenny's wife, I'm hoping she could reprise her role for the Christmas special too. She's going to be part of the Ghost of Christmas Pass scene. Ooh, a sneak peek. I like the way you work that in there. Yeah. So, Rachel. 
How are you doing? I'm just trying to survive in all this craziness, but I'm not too bad. I'm somewhere between good and better. <laughs> How about you? Can't complain. That's good. I mean, I've tried, but no one listens. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I stole that from somewhere. Can't remember, but yeah. You thief. 